But why did you put his key on my keychain? David threatened violence from the very beginning. So when I saw the body lying there in the kitchen, I was sure it was him. None of the doors had been forced open, so I assumed that he had your key. But when? I had just used it to come home that evening. Are you sure you used your key? Because if memory serves me right, the door was wide open. I saw you walk in. Maybe. In which case, he could have taken your key any time, even the, the day before. Did you see him the day before? Yes. So I went through his pockets. I found what I thought was your key. And I reacted. I, I, I grabbed a screwdriver. I jimmied the door. I put it back in his pocket. And then I took what I thought was your key and put it on your keychain. Baby, I am so sorry for having to put you through this. But it was the only thing I could do. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, honey, I already have. Oh, Stephen, we have to go to the police. Well, I, I don't know if this is really the time for brutal honesty, you know? I mean, I've tampered with evidence in a homicide. I, I paid off a blackmail. I'm in over my head, and so are you. I mean, Stephen, I mean just think it through. David could say anything he wants to. He could, he could say that I hired him to kill you. Or he could say he blackmailed us, a happily married wealthy couple, in which case it would appear that we killed that poor bastard thinking it was David. It all depends on who he wants to play it. Well, what about the man that I killed? What do you think that has anything to do with David? It, it must. Emily, do you have any idea how many burglaries there are each day in this city? I don't think so. <sighs> what are we gonna do now? Well, you're gonna have to disentangle ourselves from your artist friend. Is there anything in his loft that could link David to you and I? My rank. I thought you told me it was being repaired. That was a lie. I left it by the bed. Anything else? Isn't that enough? I'll get it. 